We were recently talking about a project they are trying to make happen and that is an adult-focused Power Ranger series. This would be a more serious series with some different themes to make it more interesting for adults so the series would have a darker style. As we all know, Power Rangers is focused for the whole family, but in reality it is more focused for young children between the ages of 4 to 6 years old. This has caused the Sentai to create weapons and Megazords that basically look like toys. When Power Rangers started in 1993 things were done differently, weapons and Megazords were seen as they should be and then toys were created based on that. Now, the weapons and Megazords are already seen as toys and so when they bring them to the market then there is not much difference between what you have in your hands and what you see on TV. All this means is that if they are going to create a series for adults then all this must change since instead of selling toys, what they can sell are collectible figures and obviously for the series to appeal to an adult audience then the weapons and megazords must look impressive and not like toys. By now, we all know that the Power Rangers costumes have been basically the same for 30 years and I don't mean the design, I'm referring to the material used to make those suits, a fabric glued to the body so the actor can have more movement and freedom when fighting. This type of material can impress young people, but it is very difficult to impress adults with this type of material because if we compare it with series and movies for adults then it is evident that the rangers look not very credible. The only thing we can highlight from all the rangers are the helmets as those still appear to be made of excellent material with unique designs. The good news is that today there are good designers who can create spectacular costumes to make rangers look like mighty heroes. We can start by talking about one of my favorite designers who has created many, many images of Power Rangers that look amazing. These suits have a mix of materials that make them look very tough and make the ranger look very powerful without losing the essence of what a power ranger is. Remember, that one of the biggest problems they had in the 2017 movie is that they tried to create new suits, but unfortunately, these suits lost the essence of what the franchise is since instead of looking like power rangers, they actually look like Iron Man suits with different colors. If we continue to see the creations of this great artist, we can see that he has different designs for the Mighty Morphin since it is obviously the best known series. Even though he did a redesign of the helmets, they still look like the original helmets, but an improved version. We can also see a design of the Gold Zeo Ranger and here we can see major changes in the suit and helmet. Another thing that has been redesigned is the weapon of this Ranger, an iconic weapon in the franchise, and with this new design we can see that it still looks excellent and without losing the essence of what this weapon is. One of my favorite designs is the Alien Ranger suit, which looks awesome, and you can quickly identify that they are the alien rangers since they haven't lost their essence either. The same we can notice with the ninja suit design, which had a very large suit in the series and here we can see several different designs, although I must say that my favorite is the smaller suit as it looks more aesthetic and real. One of the most impressive suits in this series of redesigns is the Silver Ranger suit from In Space. This suit truly appears to have a shimmer and shine to it as any silver object would. In addition, it also has an illumination on the squares on its chest and obviously this was only painted on the suit in the series. Leave in the comments which of these three designs is your favorite of this suit. 
This same designer has awesome designs of other characters such as Alpha 5, of which he has these three designs. He also has designs of Golder, one of the villains of Mighty Morphin and although I always liked the original design of Golder, I must admit that this redesign looks amazing. If you visit this designer's page, which I will leave in the description, you will be able to see other designs he has of the Power Rangers costumes that are also amazing, but for now I want to proceed with another designer that has become very famous in social media. This other designer has created redesigns of the costumes from several different seasons and his projects have been loved by many fans of the franchise. One of these awesome designs was Zio's costumes, which have lighting on his helmet and his costumes are worthy of the theme of the series. If you look more closely you can see all the Egyptian patterned artwork all over the suit and this gives an awesome detail to the design. The material of these suits are different from the designs we saw previously, this material still looks like fabric, but it looks like a tough fabric much like the ones they use on superhero costumes in current movies. Another design that I really liked are the Time Force suits, as they have a double combat mode. The first mode is for daylight combat, and the other mode is with lighting all over the suit for combat in dark places. These suits are made of a resistant material, but at the same time they have a lot of flexibility so that the ranger can have freedom of movement. We must also highlight the design of the alien ranger suits, which look very different from the design we saw previously, but still look just as amazing. These suits also seem to be made of a more flexible material and the whole design is very similar to the original, but the texture of the design makes them look much more resistant and powerful. One of the last designs that this great artist published were the Turbo Ranger suits. We all know that the theme of this series is cars, and the suits reflect that theme very well. The material of these suits seems to be metallic, but because of the way they are constructed you can see that the rangers can have a lot of freedom of movement and at the same time a lot of protection. All of this is a small demonstration that today there is a possibility to do a better job with the costumes and character designs in the series. We know that sometimes it is very difficult to go from design to reality because in a design we can work with any material, but for an actor in real life it is very difficult to work with some materials. Sometimes you need a lot of CGI and this may work in movies when they have very high budgets, but in series like Power Rangers that have a very small budget this is very difficult to achieve. Still, these designs can serve as inspiration for the production if they want to make a series focused for adults, I think these costumes would be a great attraction for the audience. In the description I will leave the social media of these great artists. If you would like them to use designs like these, like this video and subscribe for more Power Rangers designs.